Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be showing you for the first time on our channel, a tiny home, to be specific, a mobile tiny home from Keu. It's a company run by family and friends and they've done a fantastic job to create the first module that we're gonna be showing you. So let's go. Buenos días, mi nombre es Alejandro Carrilero y soy el CEO del Q1. Estamos aquí con los hermanos Maro Brothers para presentaros este prototipo de vivienda prefabricada de 37 metros cuadrados sobre el cual hemos estado trabajando durante el periodo de 5 años con mucha ilusión, con mucha constancia, con mucha dedicación y sobre todo con mucha pasión. Hemos puesto aquí todo nuestro ímpetu, todo nuestro empeño y hemos conseguido al final un producto bastante excelente que bueno, ahora os lo, os lo enseñarán y estamos muy agradecidos de, del resultado y de la aceptación que está teniendo. Desde el principio ha sido siempre el de, el de poder obtener tu casa o implantarla en cualquier lugar en un periodo corto de tiempo y bueno, creo que hemos conseguido un resultado bastante excelente. Muchas gracias. Yes, you might not believe it, but this can be moved and it actually has axis on which wheels are put on so that you can move it from A to B. What we're looking at is a fantastic use of space, 37 square meters of utilization to perfection. The outer layer that we are seeing here is made out of aluminium, the entire facade, and inside the structure is made out of 100% recyclable steel. Energy efficient and yeah, just simply awesome. The backside also has a extended garden area for your plantations. Let's do a quick walk around. Everything here that we are looking at is one home that has everything you can imagine from a kitchen, a bedroom, a shower, everything that we're gonna be exploring, picture windows, opening windows, and putting this pod wherever you desire is the idea of a mobile home. Place it where you wish, mother nature, in front of the sea, whatever floats your boat. And now, yeah, I guess I think it's time to head inside and see what it houses right there. Let's go. Welcome to your tiny home. We've got a big picture window and this glass door illuminating what is your kitchen dining area slash living room. Now let's talk about what you see. Firstly, this extended area here, I love it. They call it the aquarium. <laughs> Probably because it looks like one, but you've also got that 180 degrees angle of a view. You have to picture that this home can be put into any diverse landscaped areas, any one that you wish, as long as the surface is flat enough for it to be positioned. So you would probably put it in front of a cliff where you'll get to see the breaking waves and the dramatic scenery unfold whilst you chill here and drink your coffee. Like you could even make it like overhang a little bit. Yeah. So looking down you would exactly because this have the crashing waves. Oh my god. Because we're looking down, basically, as you said, this is hanging out. It's extended. And yeah, pretty neat place to come and chill. And immediately we are greeted by the custom-made kitchen. Now, because we are in 37 square meters of space, everything has to be compartmentalized and every space has to be fully used. So let's give some examples. The cupboards here, for instance. Patrick, if you wanna just come a little bit closer, we'll put that into perspective. We have a lot of cupboard areas to store everything you desire. Here, your cutlery. Underneath your plates. And this continues one floor down. We have porcelain countertop as well and induction right here. This entire section here is your subtractor, which is pretty cool because I don't see any vents for it to leave out, basically, don't you? Yep. Sometimes you would have these pipes where it would suck, you know, whatever you were sucking. <laughs> what? But you so get what I mean, right? you were cooking. Yeah. Be sucking out, yes. Exactly. I presume it is installed into the wall and then discreetly gets put away. Now we also have double glazed window here, one that tilts open. The isolation of this pot is amazing and so is the electrical efficiency, which is graded superbly. Now, what else do we have here that we would like to point out? 
And maybe do the small dishwasher. Exactly. It's not just the small, it's probably the smallest and cutest dishwasher we have ever seen. But keep in mind, this is a tiny home, a mobile tiny home. So this is more than sufficient. Ba -ba. I mean, it's the size of dishwashers you have in, in caravans as well. So I would say it might even be it, bigger. It all needs to be, you know, the right size because you want to use as much space, but also not clustered full of big things. So fully agreeing with you here. This entire area here is your fridge and freezer section. Spacious fridge and freezer, definitely enough for two or three people. We have an oven. A lot of spaces, guys. Spaces, a lot of spaces. To be quite honest, there's a lot of spaces to store your things in this pod, and I'm loving that because I'm someone who accumulates a lot of crap. That's why tiny living would be very difficult for you. <laughs> it would, but I would definitely like to give it a try. We also have a washer here from Samsung. It's a dryer and washer. Yeah. Is it? A multi yeah. one. Super cool. Dryer and washer with a 10 year warranty. You know, what you, know uh, like what you said before, you would like to try, but I think, you know, it is really the future. Tiny living. And why is that? Because if you look at Tokyo, for example, real estate prices went up so high and so fast that people just cannot afford living in, in uh, any big spaces no more. It's true. And there's so many people also living per square meter in Tokyo that you have to just make the most out of it. And tiny living is just the best because you also do not accumulate too much unnecessary things. Hmm. So you're more selective in what you are buying. Jesus. And okay. you get rid of things which you do not use. And Very you know, true. a lot of people have cupboards full of things they have not seen for a year or longer. Patrick actually has a whole collection of books under his bed and I'm not allowed to touch them. Now that's a little info for you guys. Thank you for sharing that Patrick, you are very right. I wouldn't mind giving this a try and seeing how I feel in a space I can 100% utilize. Because many times in bigger homes you might not be utilizing all the rooms. Now, continuing. What is this Patrick? It is a? Bathroom. Yeah, behind a pocket door. The big debate of our old video, pocket doors versus traditional doors. Perfect example here. Why a pocket door? Because it saves space and invites you into your basically ensuite bathroom that we're gonna be explaining later. You missed out one thing. Yes, the, the table. The shot of the table, yes. Exactly, to create more space, this can also be lifted and mounted onto the wall. Maybe put a cushion here to chill in your living room kitchen area. Furthermore, we also have this, Patrick. So maybe you wanna come a little bit closer. It is your smart home integration system. You have underflow heating here, by the way, it's an extra in this pot, but you can also install it, air conditioning, LED lights. You also have the blinds that fully go down. Let's show that to you. Super, everything can be controlled and managed here. Now, moving on, we have covered spaces here. And here, let's open it up and give you guys a quick look into it, just for you to understand the sort of space we have. Hang your jackets here, put your shoes on, maybe your slippers. slippers. And once again, the paneling of the walls and the ceilings, it's a nice continuation. It kind of feels like it's done from one solid piece. And within that solid piece, you have the integration of the LED strips as well as the air conditioning slots nicely hidden. You also have wooden floors, which I hope you have seen. Have they, Patrick? Yes, they have. They have seen, superb. With LED strips, everything's nice illuminated. You're also seeing that in the night shots, boom. Now, ladies and gentlemen, pocket door number two leads us into the bedroom. Let's explore it. Not only is it your bedroom, this could also be your office. I'll explain all of that later. Patrick, come a bit closer because we have a mirror here, nicely put into a niche with LED strips illuminating it. From there, you also get to see my brother Patrick and for measurement purposes, he's two meters tall. So we have a very nice ceiling height in this entire pod, which gives you a feeling of space, which is great in a tiny home, right? Yes. Now, like I said, 
compartmentalized. We have this entire front, which are basically shelves where you can store your things in. There's a lot of space. Now, if you want to work, you can also have these two desks that pop out. Put your computer here. You have USB slots for electricity on both sides and then they nicely pocket inside into the wall and disappear. And this is use of space per excellence. Now, there's also a big bed that you're seeing in the detail shot that can be transformed into a couch area a lot of luminosity coming in through the picture windows but also through these ones which can fully be opened now you open it here maybe it looks there. Close to the little garden yeah and you get a nice breeze and you get exposure of your garden true patrick <laughs> i'm leaving these little moments for patrick to add something on but he then just leaves it i'll leave you hanging thank you all right, guys, let's continue here, which is your rag to hang your clothes. Maybe even put a nice book gallery here or store some further stuff. So that's an additional storage for your clothes, etc. There's also a Sonos sound system installed in the entire pod. So you can really pump up the music here, make it kind of into a party, mobile, tiny living home. Cool or what? Party hub. A party. Yeah, party hub. I like that. Now this is pocket door number two and it leads us to the bathroom. Let's have a quick look. Just before we do, we also have on each side here USB slots nicely hidden inside the bed frame wall. Sweet. And voila, we are in the toilet slash shower area. One sink vanity here, drawer set up right underneath. Nice oval shape mirror. And best of all, a window that you can open. And we all know why it's good to have a window which Of course, opens. we all do. But what's also really nice is when you put this pot wherever you desire, I would say nature on a cliff, views, you'd be looking out of this window and you'd see drama happening right outside. Eagles flying over the prey, whatever happens out in the wilderness. But you'll get to watch it through your squared window here. Cool. And now shower area, which I'm super amazed about because <laughs> look at it. You have a rain shower head and it really has depth to come down, pouring on you depth. from this depth. 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 You are a depth, Patrick. Du bist ein Depth. Du hast, du hast depth <laughs> no, yeah, it has depth. It has depth. It's depth English language out. difficult, huh? We also have a shower head. And Patrick, you wanted to say something about this. Yes. Pass me the shower head. Hello, hello, Dominic, interview. Hello, interview. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to KU Mobile Homes, transforming the way you live your life. Amazing to be here, thank you so much. Cool, this is also backsplash of porcelain, very elegant LED strips, continuation even here in the bathroom, super functional bathrobe. Patrick, you wanted to take breath? You were about to say something, I heard it. I like the LED lights, the strips everywhere give this smooth sort of light. Yeah. yeah. That's it? You're done? Yeah, nothing much. Cool, all right. Pocket door, as you have seen earlier. And we close this section and we can completely forget about it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that forget was about it. 37 square meters of livable, usable space inside this pot. It is more than enough to be livable in, in my opinion, I've just told to it now. In, to live in, yeah. Yeah, for it to be livable. Stop trying to correct me, dude. To live in, yeah. My English is, 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 is enough good. Enough good. <laughs> yeah, good enough. Good. So yeah, coming back to the fact that 37 square meters, at least for two people, is super spacious and gives you enough room to have every necessity met. Now, there are also three different types of pots. One that has 19 square meters and two further ones that are 37 in four different colors, which you can then customize. On the website, you can actually customize the pods as you wish it to be, under floor heating, air conditioning, some extras. So do check it out. And now, I would if, say we're gonna- I have one more last thing to say. If you consider that I was studying in Vienna and my room, which was, I had a shower and a little 
even a kitchenette in there had just 15 square meters and I was living it. I was yeah. just Now imagine the, the luxury you would have living here in a 37 square meter pot, which by the way, and I would say this is the main objective, you can put anywhere. And this is cool. I would put it in the garden of my parents and have this as my home when I come visit them. And another thing is you will definitely never look for something. <laughs> living with you, I'd look under the bed. I know where to find all the good stuff. Right guys, let's go outside. Perfect, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to our first property tour of a tiny home. This is a mobile edition. Believe it or not, as I said at the beginning, it has access to put wheels on. You can move it from A to B, but obviously bigger transportations like bringing it to a distant location requires a different approach. More to that on their website. I'm curious if a helicopter could lift it. That's a very good question. Let's find out and pin that answer in the comment section of our YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. It was the biggest pleasure to show you something unique and different. And if you liked it, share it, give us thumbs up, give us a tip, write a comment, and yeah, spread the love. Patrick, last words to you? Spread the love. Yeah, come on. More life, more love, more peace. That's what we all need in a tiny home which can be moved. Will we live together? No. Patrick, last words to you. Turn the camera around, let people see your pretty face. <laughs> let me put on the glass because it's quite... Last words to me. Um, great project. So I have to say I really enjoyed it and I think it really has a lot of potential for the future as well. Because like I said, it's all about saving space and saving materials so people oh yeah peace and love and out we are ciao ciao, ciao from alicante peace